This video introduces users to AirScreen View and demonstrates how its many features can be used to complete a screening level air dispersion modeling study. The AirScreen model estimates worst case impacts of one hour ground level pollutant concentrations for a single source. It consists of four models AirMod for dispersion calculations, AirMap for importing terrain elevations, BPIP for estimating building wake effects, and MakeMet for generating meteorological conditions. You may be asking yourself, how is AirScreen different from AirMod if it runs the AirMod executable? Well, AirScreen is like a less refined AirMod run that only estimates worst case impacts. Also, AirScreen uses generic meteorology conditions, so you bypass complicated MET data processing. With screening modeling, you can save time because there's no need for time-consuming refined modeling when worst case concentrations pass regulatory thresholds. AirScreen View is a user-friendly interface for interacting with AirScreen and its components. Let's take a look at some of the ways it simplifies modeling. There's a geo-referenced map display for quickly adding sources and buildings to a project. The Scenario Wizard is easy to use and guides users through the data input process. The terrain processing features has free access to worldwide digital terrain files. With the modeling batcher, you can conduct simultaneous execution of all modeling runs. and the Advanced Scenario Output Results windows present all modeling results in a convenient, single display. These are just some of the many features of AirScreen View, and you can learn more about them by visiting our website, www.weblakes.com. Thank you for watching.